A carjacking and robbery spree in Stanislaus County comes to an end and good Samaritans are getting the credit. One man followed the guy and then others helped detain the suspect after he reportedly assaulted a woman and stole her purse. CBS 13's Valina Jones is in Modesto with the interview you'll see only on CBS 13. Imagine you're going to get a cup of coffee and you're attacked getting out of your car. That's what happened. The victim was parked right here when she was attacked. And police tell me the suspect, well, this wasn't his first target of the day. It was pretty loud and, and shrill. That sound, a cry for help from a woman just feet away. She says she could see the guy from a distance running at her. She tried closing the door. This guy jumped over her lap to get to the purse on the passenger seat. The victim was parked at Duncan on Oakdale Road when the attack happened Monday. That's when David, who owns nearby Crystal Pool and Spa, tracked the man down. And right behind the wall here, they, they left just enough room for people to walk in or hide in, but three feet in is where he was. And so I confronted him. I said, well, either you can come out or I'll pull you out. David grabbed the purse but said the suspect ran away. First, he chased after him on foot, then by car, with other witnesses hoping to point him in the right direction along the way. I'm sick and tired of the people that continue to plague our, our cities. I won't take it. You know, it's time people stand up and do the right thing. David and others found the man hiding in a backyard, one person holding him at gunpoint until police arrived. Modesto police arrested 37-year-old Leonard Rosas. They say he's the same man who carjacked and injured a man just hours before in the city's Amtrak parking lot. To me, I don't look at it as being a hero. Um, to me, I did my civic duty, period. A community effort to catch an alleged carjacking culprit. No, I'll do it again in a heartbeat and won't hesitate. Um, and that's the way it is. Rosas is being held on a million dollar bail.